Hello everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. Today is a fun day. We're going to be taking a look at the C.E. Smith Multi-Sport Trailer. So this is going to be made of galvanized steel, so it's going to be great for your fresh water, but also your salt water applications for you coastal people out there. And this is going to be a great way to make it a little easier to load up your boats. So if you do have kayaks or canoes and you either are using your roof for something else or you just don't want to hassle with the roof rack and just having to put it all the way up there, this is going to be a lot easier to get those boats on there. But also for the boats that aren't going to go up on your roof, whether it's a paddle boat or a John boat or a big raft boat, we can configure these bunks in different situations to fit whatever boat we are hauling. So right now we just have them straight across. They're about five foot in length. So I can fit two kayaks and bring them to wherever I want to go on the water. The trailer is going to be about 11 foot, eight inches from the coupler all the way to the end. And it's going to have a capacity of 800 pounds. It's going to be able to utilize some of those longer John boats that you have up to 12 foot in length. And that's always good. So we can do a lot of different adjustments and stuff to really fit whatever kind of boat you want. So if it's within those bounds, you can put a boat on it. What really differentiates this trailer from the Malone Megasport is we have a winch in the front and the Malone does not. So with this, all we got to do is just hook it up to whatever boat that we have. It's not going to be for kayaks or canoes. We hook it up. We have a big lever right here to crank it on down. And then you just go like this to let it go the other way. So I kind of like that. It has a little rubber stop, but we can actually adjust this, which is really cool. One, we can adjust it along the tongue. So let's go ahead and see how much adjustments we're going to have. So basically from the coupler to the start of this bracket, it's going to be about 50 inches. So you're going to have 50 inches to move along our whole entire tongue. So you can position this, but also where the winch is too. If you notice on the front of this bracket, there's going to be a bunch of different holes. We have it in the second highest point, but we can, depending on what kind of boat you have, we can adjust this. So it fits perfectly. A lot of adjustments, so you really don't have to worry about your boat not really working with it. All you have to do is just make sure that it is not going to be too heavy for this thing. It's basically it. And the winch is going to have a capacity of 850 pounds, but if you're using the winch, we're going to need to strap it down. It does not come with straps, so I'm just using the e-trailer kayak straps. I just like them. They work really well, and they have little protectors for the bottom of our boat. And what I'm using is just the bunk brackets to kind of wrap it around and get it nice and tight and as you can see this thing isn't really gonna go anywhere so i am very very confident more straps the better in my opinion so i usually load it up with straps so make sure you grab some whenever you grab the trailer now i'm going to take the boats off but just look how much easier it is than having to do it on the roof i usually carry my kayaks on the roof but with this it's uh a lot easier Definitely a lot easier because you don't really have to lift it up hardly. After I'm done yakking for the whole entire day, my arms are dead. And this way we don't really have to do a whole lot to get everything off. So it's a lot quicker, a lot easier. And especially when you're using your arms to put this thing up there and take it down. When you're using your arms, when you use the kayaks, it's just so much better. It just makes the whole experience a lot easier so you can even have your kiddos put it up on here. It's easy and simple. So I'm gonna take the rest of the stuff off so we can get a little closer look at the trailer. With the brackets that are installed on our bunks right here, we're gonna get two different sets. So eight total, and we're gonna pick between the two. So we either have the short ones or the taller ones. So in the highest configuration with the tall brackets from the frame, to the very, very top. It's gonna to be about nine inches. But if you just take a 16 millimeter socket, we can rotate these around. Just loosen them up a little bit, and this is gonna fall down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. You can really adjust it just to get as low as possible. All right, 
So that is the lowest it goes with the big brackets. And from the frame to the top, it's going to be about six inches. And basically with that is mainly for when you have these bunks switched around for just one big boat, because we just want to make sure that it has enough lift to miss all this stuff and also everything else on the inside. So you really do have some options when piecing it together, but it all just comes down to what boat you're putting on it. If you did have a John boat or whatever other kind of boat, whether it's a one of those paddleboard boats, which has two tubes going on each side. So with those, you'll have it tilted out to this side. For the John boats, you'll probably just have it like this, but one that kind of has not a flat bottom, we can fold them in like this. So this is another configuration. And with this, we're probably gonna wanna use the longer brackets just because there is gonna be a little bit of a dip. But if you do have a John boat that doesn't have that, you could probably get away with the smaller brackets. It all just depends on your boat. Again, this is another configuration you can do with this trailer. Now that you know what boat's gonna work with these trailers, which is a lot of them, let's go over what you really get with the whole kit. It's literally everything you need for a trailer. They just put it in boxes for you. So that's pretty much it. All you really need is a four pole. So this all comes with it. The wiring comes with it. But if you don't have a four pole like me, I have a seven pole. So I grabbed this adapter from e-trailer. I just like the coiled one just because it just gives me a little bit more room to work with and it doesn't really, it's not a super sloppy cable. So definitely grab that. We have some safety chains, which is nice. Uh, you are gonna need a ball mount. So the coupler is gonna accept a two inch ball. So you just wanna make sure it's the right size. And you're really not gonna be able to buy a ball mount that's gonna be rated less than what the trailer is. So you're totally fine there. One thing you should get is a little pin that goes through here just to lock this latch into place. And the diameter of that hole is about 5 16ths of an inch. We also do have a little bumper here. So this is for if you just wanted to lay your trailer down. It's not going to get all that mud or whatever inside of your coupler. So it's going to stay nice and smooth. So that's how it's going to be like outside your house or in your garage, whatever, if you don't have any jack stands or anything like that. So now that that's done, you just need a ball mount, you need wiring, and you just need to make sure you get the right ball and then a pin, of course. But then let's uh, continue on down the trailer. So we're going to have a little bit of suspension on this trailer. We're going to have some lights as well. So let's start with the lights, actually. As you can see, we get side marker lights, and this is a pretty small trailer, but they included these, and these are submergible. So if you are backing it in to load up your boat, you don't have to worry about these shorting out or anything. They are made of LEDs, which is awesome. I just don't like the incandescent bulbs. They just don't last as long. They pull more power, and I just think it's a no-brainer. So I'm glad that they went with the LEDs. And we do have more lights in the back, so we're gonna have turn signals, brake lights, and then even on the driver's side, we're gonna have a license plate holder to hold your license plate. And there is gonna be a light on the bottom too. And all that wiring is actually kind of clutch. It all just has little pigtails to kind of plug into each other, as you can see right here. So you don't really have to grab any like connectors or get the heat gun out. Literally, they just connect together just like that. So it makes it super, super easy whenever you're installing all this. And the wiring's super clean, so it's pretty much the right length, which is awesome. And then of course, on the other side, we're gonna have another tail light. Again, LED, submersible. It's good stuff. We get some brand new shiny tires and wheels. They are powder coated gray, so it does kind of match the whole entire scheme of the whole trailer. And these are gonna be five on four and a half in bolt pattern. The rims are gonna be eight inches in diameter and they're about four inches wide. And when it comes to the tire size, it's 4.8 to eight. It has a low capacity B and that's basically it for the tires. There's not a whole lot with them, but they're brand new. So you're really not gonna have to replace them anytime soon. We do have leaf spring suspension. It's pretty beefy stuff. So it is gonna help with the ride quality whenever you're going down the road. Honestly, the heavier boats, like the John boats and stuff, are probably gonna compress these a little bit better than our kayaks. 
So I think the heavier the boat, the more you're gonna get out of the suspension. The axle goes all the way across. So if you're doing some like off-roading and stuff, it's about seven and a half inches from the ground to that center tube there. Of all of the things that we've just gone over, if this is probably the right size for you, it's gonna be great for you. We do have a bigger option. It's gonna come with bigger wheels and a little bit bigger capacity. So if you really think you're gonna be maxing this thing out with whatever boat that you have, uh, definitely go with the bigger one. But all in all, this thing's awesome. I really do like these little trailers just because they're super useful. And the way that we can kind of configure this thing just to fit our specific boat, I really like that. So there's never really any questions with me whether my boat's gonna work or not. You can make it work, you just gotta assemble it in whatever order and configuration that works best for you. But this thing's awesome and it's gonna be really, really cool for all the adventures you guys plan on having. So that's basically it for our look at the CE Smith Multisport trailer. I'm Adam with E-Trailer and thanks for watching.